Well, let's back this story up 330 days to the beginning. My buddy, Mike Pascaretto, had booked a hunt at Saver Creek Outfitters. I'm meeting him in Wyoming, hoping in a film shoot his first ever mountain lion. A long journey. You ready to be a TV star or what? I think so. Enjoy. All right up in my face with that thing, huh? Uh-oh. Well, Mike had a red-eye flight, so it's 7.30 in the morning. We're gonna throw our gear in the rooms. The guides are already out on snow machines looking for tracks. They left us some GPS coordinates. We're gonna hop in the truck and go help look for tracks. Well, one thing about lion hunting is you wanna figure out where the deer and elk are wintering at. You find the deer, normally you'll find the cats. Well, it didn't take long. We ended up driving up on a couple small bugs. Boy Mike, showing him some deer out here. Some nice bucks, it's coming out. You know, it's just crazy how many deer you see out here. There's literally deer everywhere. Well, it looks like that buck there is a fighter. Well, right there is one of the bucks that Savory Creek Outfitters is famous for, them great big frame muleys. Coming to get him next year, 100%. Well, we've got our work cut out for us this week. The zone we planned on hunting actually got shut down yesterday. The quota got filled, so we're actually out in the desert trying to find a non quota cat. It's going to be a lot of work. You know, we're driving and I'm looking out the window, probably around 11 o'clock I look down and it looks to be a cat track. Well, I end up getting out of the truck, walking up, looking at the tracks, and sure enough, it's a lion track. You know, the track looks to be a few days old. You know, there was actually only a couple spots you could actually see the pad tracks in the snow. Most of the spots, it was right down to the bare dirt. So I think this track's pretty old. Well, Cody and Bryce come up, looked at that track, and they figured that it was probably at least a week old. You know, they made a bunch of circles with the snow machine, could never freshen the track up. So back to the drawing board. All right, here we are, morning two. Savory Wyoming. Well, we're out looking for cat tracks in the same area where the mule deer wintering range is, and we end up seeing a couple different mule deer does with ear tags in them. You know, it'd be kind of cool to see how far those does travel to the wintering range. Hopefully they make it through the winter without one of them cats getting them. Five by four. Shoot it? Would you, would you fit in your trophy room or not? Oh, he'll definitely fit my trophy room. Well, after lunch on day number two, a front moved in and it just started snowing like crazy. So we decided to abandon our plan of looking for cat tracks. So now we're going to go look for mule deer and elk, you know, try to film a bunch of game and hopefully we can get back after the cats in the morning. You know, it seemed like almost everywhere we went, 
you know, with this front coming in, the deer and elk were moving. We ended up seeing this one big herd of elk, had to have been 50 animals in there, we were just kind of cool kicking back and watching them. You know, the funny thing is that big old herd of elk was coming right into a farmer's barnyard trying to eat out of his haystack. Well, we ended up driving down the road probably another mile and spotted a couple mule deer does and the one kind of looked weird so we put the glass on her and she had a radio collar around her neck. Well, we looked for cat tracks for the next three days and just never found one. Well, it's December 15th. We're going to try it one more time. I'm picking up Mike and his buddy John at the Denver International Airport. Then we're going to make the five hour trek to Savory Creek Outlet. Hey, John. Hey, John. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Hey, my boy, Mike. Mike, nice to meet you, buddy. How are you? <laughs> time to get after some lions. It's going to happen this time. Well, we hit it just perfect this year. All the zones are open. You know, they just got six inches of fresh snow. The guys have already found several tracks the last couple days, so it should be a good hunt. Well, on the very first morning of our second trip, we were just getting ready to go for a drive, see if maybe we could see a coyote, and Bo let us know they just found a track. They got one. Go. They got one. They just found a track. We gotta wait an hour. It's 10 below, it's too, it's too cold to let the dogs loose. We gotta wait for like an hour, but we're gonna go look for a different one too. Yeah. It's 10 below right now, a little too cold for the, they just found a cat, we're gonna, they just found a track. We're gonna go out there and track them. Well, the hard part's out of the way. They found the track. Now the temperature's around 10 below. They want it to warm up to around zero. So Cody Stocks is actually coming back to pick up the dogs. Then we're going to meet everybody up in the mountains in about a half hour. How's Mr. Stocks doing? Going. Not too bad. Oh, <laughs> you betcha. <laughs> Make you famous one way or another. Go, one way or another. So you guys actually got some tracks this year, huh? Yeah, we do. So, um, a ways up there. So it's about probably a 30 minute drive. Well, we caught up with Cody. He gave us directions where to go meet up with Bryce at. So we're going to head up there, meet up with Bryce, and start getting snow machines ready to roll. You found us a track this year. About time, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only took 12 months. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's going to be a fun day. The track they found is about a seven mile ride back on snow machine. And I believe this is the first time John's ever rode a snowmobile. So it could get a little interesting. First time going on a snowmobile. Yeah, I never went on one. Oh, oh. Yeah. Jason. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. My jacket won't zip. It's all right. Two dogs you bringing? Just two. Just two. I got the other two in there for backup when we go get the second one. So Bo said this, uh, there's Tom and uh, two of them up here? Yep, yeah. So a female and a Tom, I think. So I Are think they I, together or separate? They were together. And then I think they separated, so hopefully, I think I got the Tom sorted out, but we'll have to see when we get yeah, up there. Yeah, There's right. tracks everywhere from last night. So. All right, it's time to get the show on the road. Time to hop on these sleds. Mike's up the bat first. I know he's been waiting a long time for this day to get his first crack at the lion. So let's go see how this turns out. You guys sort her out, come back and get us? Yep. Since All right, boys, we are officially day number one cat hunting. They've already got a track. The guides are up trying to freshen up for us, so hopefully within the next couple hours, we'll be turning, well, actually, hopefully the next half hour, we turn them dogs loose. <laughs> Beautiful, Arena. Right? Beautiful country full-blown track cat country right now. Yeah, I got these big rock ledges up through here. First time on a snow machine? Snow's first time ever. My fingertips are frozen. <laughs> Fingertips. <laughs> 
Look at me. I can't even get Look the jacket guy. around. He's blowing out over Ooh. here. Blowouts like Nothing crazy. fits him. <laughs> Just too much eating, too much food. <laughs> I can't wait. This is going to be awesome, guys. Well, Cody and Bryce had us stay back. They went up, checked out the track one more time, trying to sort it out. Didn't take long. They're back with a game plan. Pretty good plan then? Yeah, pretty good cat. Must not have been too far up there. Huh? Must not have been too far up there. No, it's not very far. Still rough. Huh? Is it top? Bigger than any line you've ever shot. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Biggest line we've seen today. Yep. <laughs> yeah. These guys are rearing to go. Well, we hop back on the sled, ride up about another three quarters of a mile, and there's the big old track on the right hand side of the road. So, you know, we all hop off, look at the track. Now it's time to let the dogs loose. Hey, They're on it. Going right, huh? You know, you turn the dogs loose, now it's kind of a waiting game. You gotta just let them play out the track and hopefully they treat this big old cat. Mm -hmm. Back on, you ready? Please? We'll see. I mean, we usually give them a couple minutes here, you know. They usually bail. Treat. Six years later. <laughs> Six years just later. Had, just had to have the right crew, I 10, guess. Exactly. Miles. Well, it didn't take long. They had him bushed up. You know, Cody went first, made sure there was a cat tree, and he hollered back, there's a big cat in the tree, so now it's time to make the walk. Making a hike right up. A couple hundred yards up that mountain. All these years trying to get this cat. We got about three feet of snow, so we're gonna take our time, pace ourselves. It's real cold, but we're gonna do this. Well, with three foot of snow on the ground, I just couldn't film any more walking up the hill. But by the time we got to the top of the hill, the old hounds had a big old tom in the tree. Okay, <laughs> if you want to get your gun out, you can. I'm going to get some shots here. second lion he's been on. That dog. This is number 42. This dog has been on this. He's good. Three and a half. Right. You better. I need just a little bit of quiet so I can just get some. Yeah, he's all yours if you want him, Mike. Hold Ready? on, let me go. The dogs. I got him. There we go. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? The cat literally jumped 40 foot out of the tree down the hill, and I could see Mike was a little bit concerned that cat didn't just fall out of the tree dead. Well, that cat ended up going about 120 yards before we found it, and now it's time to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Six years, baby. Yeah, big cat. Six years. Big cat. <laughs> it took Cody Stocks to do it. Bryce. It's hey, Bryce. Bryce. <laughs> it's a team, man. That's what been dreaming about right there. Ah! Ah! Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed Mike's six-year request to get a mountain lion. He got himself a great cat out here in Wyoming at Savory Creek Outfitters. Hey, hopefully you guys subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment on this video. Give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you right back here next time on Dirt Road Outdoors TV.